race number two coming up. This features uh, your son, Robbie Rice, but also features Jay Drake. And there is the uh, big wreck right there. Levi Jones just checked up. The car was pushing. He checked up, and Drake had nowhere to go. But all members of uh, a number of different teams trying to get Jay Drake out there. Drake is actually in the cockpit. Yeah, it looks like they're waiting on somebody to come and push him off. I'm not sure uh, exactly what's going on. They, they had a yeoman's job there. There was a lot of work to do on that car with that broken shock tower and the bent axle and so forth. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why he hasn't been pushed off. But, uh, Amy, can you tell us what's going on down there? Well, just hearing some word from some of those various crew members that were working so feverishly to get that car together, we're getting the word from USAC that they feel as though that car may not be put together safely and and you have to respect them for coming forward and not letting Jay push that off for a safety factor in itself now that puts Jay in a situation he needs to jump out of that car again he mentioned that Jim Mills had offered his car to him but we have to remember you know that, that it may be too late now for for Jay to do anything like that well we see some guys standing on the racetrack and Larry I'm not sure what that's all about well could be a I form don't... of protest uh you know, thinking that the car should go out there. That looks like Danny Drynan is one of them, isn't it, or not? Is that Dan standing right there on the right? We'll pull the camera back and show you where they're standing on the racetrack, and they're right near the entrance to turn one, right near pit out. This reminds me of Jim Herdeby's running out and laying <laughs> on the, the front speedway. straightaway at the Speedway back in the back in 1978. 1977-78. Look at, look at uh, Danny Dryden. Danny Dryden now is the is the director. He's trying to get the, the fans to get on their side. You know, they've worked their butts off. You can't really blame them. They've really worked their tails off to get this thing going. And now then USAC is saying, well, they don't think it's put together well enough. Well, you have to use some discretion. Sometimes you can put those things together too uh, too quickly. Danny Dryden's a pretty good fabricator. I think if uh, if if he told me he was it was ready, he might be ready. Amy? Amy? I think the question in doubt here is about the welding mechanism that they used to weld that right front shock tower. This welder came over from the drag strip here at Indianapolis Raceway Park. Now, I'm not a welding expert, but I know there's MIG welders, TIG welders. Whatever kind of welder it was that they used, I think, is what they feel as though the welds will not be strong enough to withhold the force that that right front shock tower is going to take. So a lot of debate going on down here. Well, you can see the anguish and frustration on Danny Drynan's face as uh, USAC is not going to let them go. And they're trying to get the uh, fans involved in the protest. And uh, a gaggle of folks down there still around the race car. And the race car sets there. And the rest of the cars are on the racetrack waiting to start this semi, which we'll come back with the conversation there's the focus of our attention despite the fact that the field has just been given the one to go sign Jay Drake is still pleading his case talking to Norm Shields USAC official trying to say hey that car is safe let us go out and run now Amy East made an observation that perhaps he should have been patrolling the pit area doing some politicking for another ride well unfortunately you know it's just a bad situation because they worked their tails off to get that thing ready to go and uh, he's, you know, he's got his helmet in his hand, so maybe that's what he's going to do right now. Well, let's see if we can get Amy to jump in there quickly. Amy? Jay, we saw you pleading your case with USAC there. I know it's a discretionary and safety call that USAC's trying to make. What, what do you, how do you feel about this? No, it's ridiculous. It's just, it's stupid. I mean, the guy, Drynan's a certified welder. The guy, Hoser, works for Bud Cating. I mean, now, I'm going to jump in here. I don't think it's about his welding capabilities, more of the, the welder itself. Is that what USAC is communicating to you? That thing's stronger than it was brand new, too. 